Mahler, welcome to Glimpse TV, and I'm here with my beautiful guest, Michelle Phillips. We're sitting here on her dock in Bradenton, Florida, outside Tampa, and Michelle is somebody I met at the Movers and Shakers Hay House event back in April in New York City, and um, we just kind of immediately became friends, and we've been yeah. buddies ever since, so I'm actually down here visiting her and her adorable husband, Tim, and I thought we'd do a little episode here on the end of the dock. I love it. What yeah. a great set we have. <laughs> so perfect. So... Michelle is launching a book coming up in the fall with Hay House. Do you want to talk a little bit yes. about that? Yes, it's called The Beauty Blueprint, and it's the eight steps, uh, basically, to creating the life and look of your dreams. So that is what it is about, um, connecting your inner life, who you are, what you love to do, and really rediscovering the essence of who you are. Mm -hmm. And then how do you want to radiate that outward to the world? And that can be through your image, but image meaning how you feel about yourself, mm -hmm. your attitude, your outlook on life, um, going for your dreams, what are your passions. And when you rediscover those, you start living a life that is more beautiful and um, more fulfilling. So it's all about, it's a lot about inner beauty, yes, right? And letting absolutely. that radiate from the inside out. And Michelle and I right. were driving home last night and she was asking me, um, the thing about the magic wand. So yes. will you tell that? Because I really, I really yes. like this as a tool. This was something that was introduced to me years ago by a friend who said, you know, what is it that you really love to do in life? And, you know, I think um, I limited myself when I answered her because I kept thinking of what do I have in front of me? Right. And so from that, what do I want my life to look like? wave a magic wand, what would your life look like? And so she encouraged me to go write that down. And when I wrote that down and I created this life on paper that I thought, well, that's crazy. That'll never happen. <laughs> um, eventually it started to happen. And it's, it's incredible to see how obtainable things are once you write them down because you keep them, you know, they're in front of you. They're not locked up in your head. Right. And, um, quick story. I was, um, talking to a guy on a plane when I was traveling cross country mm -hmm. and I we started a conversation and he said I'm an architect but I'm going um, bartending because I'm I'm going in a different direction and I'm not really sure what I want to do and I said what does you want to do and he said I don't know I, I'm trying to figure it out blah 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 so I said if you could wave a magic wand yeah. and do anything no nothing holding you back what would you do and he said I'd build a boat Wow, what a different answer, yeah, right? That's and clear. I said, oh my gosh, that's incredible. And yeah. as he started talking about building a boat, mm -hmm. he became so energized mm -hmm. and full of life and his whole body language, everything about him changed and he started to just just radiate. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about is that and you know, hopefully he's gonna go out there and find a way to just yeah. build a boat. But that's what it's about. And it could be for um, you know, if, if you're the CEO of your household, which is I, I call a lot of women who I really mm -hmm. um, just admire, you know, homemakers and running their household, that, that can mean something as simple as I want to go to yoga, I want to start to paint, I want to start to dance again and get really back in touch with who I am. So that's, that's, that's what amazing. I love. I get so excited when I talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, really our dreams and desires and creativity is the heartbeat of, you know, and it's the, it's the fuel that runs our lives, right? Right. Our bodies run on carbohydrates and our lives <laughs> run yeah. on dreams and desires. So hopefully, exactly. hopefully. Exactly. So you might look at Michelle and think, oh my God, she's so beautiful. And here she is living in this house on the beach, on the ocean or the river, wherever we are here. <laughs> so beautiful regardless. Yeah. And oh my God, it all looks so perfect because right. it really it looks really good, Michelle, I have to say. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've heard people amazing, say that. Right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know, easy for you to say. Right. Exactly. And that's when, uh, you know, I, in my book I tell the story, and on my speaking engagements I, I talk about my story. And I have probably many stories that got me here, but the main thing is that I um, lived a life according to what other people thought and what other people mm -hmm. dictated to me what they thought I should live. Right. And one, most importantly, was um, my ex-husband. And I just lived, eat, and breathe whatever he said and, and made my life about him and about mm -hmm. my family. And in the meantime, I started putting my dreams behind. And I was so busy in what I call my getting years, 
you know, mm-hmm. getting the guy, getting the kids, getting the house right. and the car, and then taking, you know, spending money I didn't have, creating the perfect life. Mm-hmm. I was a, a makeup artist working with some celebrities. So on the outside looking in, my life was yeah. perfect. Um, but what happened was I lost me. And when I started to say, okay, wait a second. I got to get back into me and mm-hmm. I started creating my life again that caused a really big problem in my relationship with my ex-husband yeah. um, a lot of anger started a lot of things happened that really became a toxic relationship mm-hmm. and therefore our perfect facade right. started to crack and when right. that cracked uh, financially we lost everything mm-hmm. you know when we split up because um, we were living beyond our means yeah. And I ended up leaving um, my marriage and at the same time lost my job and ended up getting Mm -hmm. a new job and that had very little income. And I I had to completely rebuild a life uh, based on truth, Mm -hmm. authenticity. And when that started to occur, I started really living my life. Yeah. More beautiful things started coming into my life. Mm -hmm. But to crack that shell, it was pretty hard. Yeah. It was pretty hard. You know, I lived, I mean, I was literally on food stamps a few years ago trying to feed my kids. It was pretty bad. Um, yeah. yeah. So anything's possible, and yeah. you just got to go with your heart and your soul. <laughs> so what do you think? So it sounds like you, you said you started to live your own dreams and kind of, reorient your life according to what you actually wanted. Would you say that that was kind of the major upheaval. shifting point? Yeah. The major upheaval? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's not for everyone, but I think a lot of times, <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can go through this. I mean, right. most people can go through this process and not have such a big upheaval. Right. But I think a lot of uh, people can really relate right now with what's going on in our country. Mm-hmm. But um, when you make a conscious decision to start improving your life, Um, what happens is you have to really work hard at maybe um, creating things that's not the norm for your pattern of living Mm -hmm. and when you start to do that people around you can get a little uncomfortable and and, you know and go whoa this is just not your norm but what happens is as you start to work on things in your life that you really really need to be attended to in terms it could be health or relationship money um, once you start focusing on those things, everything else in your life begins to shift in mm-hmm. positive ways. And it's miracles will occur and, yeah. and really good things come into your life yeah. because you start to get rid of the negativity and the right. fear. Right. It's the fear. I think bottom line, the fear that we have mm-hmm. moving forward. There's so many what if this happens or maybe if I can't do this mm-hmm. or what if something bad happens. Right. And so when we break through those barriers, we find that life is pretty darn cool. <laughs> so um, what are you doing right now in your life that you're afraid of, but you're doing oh, it anyway? I am starting to speak in front of really large groups of people. Yeah. Yeah, and it's freaky. It's exhilarating, but it's freaky because yeah. I've done TV for a long time. Mm-hmm. And um, that's more comfortable for me. So that's something that I'm doing and writing a book. That's scary. You know, you write things down and, and you you really hope that your message touches people's hearts. Mm-hmm. And so it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's amazing. And, um, and what do you love about your life? Mm. I think I, I love the freedom that I feel when I live my life according to my intuition and, 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 and my passions and my and I, when I'm truthful, people and other people. So I love that freedom. Yeah, the freedom of the truth. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. You don't have to remember what you said. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, have to remember what like you said. Yeah. all there all the time. You just, exactly. You're just like, okay, what's going on? Okay, great, reporting live. This is the truth. And it is. It's incredibly freeing. I mean, you know myself. scary but really free yes I think a lot of times um, I'm learning to say no a little bit more um, because I, 
I always want to make people, um, you know, I want to always be there to help mm -hmm. others. I, so I think when I, I've stopped and said no to a few people and said, I'm sorry, I cannot yeah. do this, even though it crushes me to do so, but by taking on too much, I'm taking, depleting myself. Right. It really hurts because you're worried that you're letting somebody down. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we were talking about the other day, even accepting support on yeah. the flip side too. Right. There's a couple of things that totally. I, just, yeah, is, I struggle with still. Totally. I'm yeah. Still learning. Yeah. How to do that. So Michelle and I are, um, we're, oops, my hair is falling out. <laughs> So we're here, we're down here, we're doing some Team Northrop stuff. She also yes. just joined Team Northrop, so um, really part excited. of the whole inner beauty philosophy. So we're really excited about that, and we're thinking yes. of maybe creating some workshops together. And so we're up to all kinds of fun stuff. All kinds of goodness, because it, you know, if, you're, if your body doesn't feel good and your health isn't good, yeah. which I'm learning so much from you, yeah. that, oh my gosh, how can we operate right. on the right. level that we need to? Exactly. And when you're healthy inside, we all know when we're feeling really healthy, we just look more beautiful. True. So, and that comes from the physical stuff, the supplements that you're taking, but also pursuing your dreams like Michelle's talking about. So it's all part of the whole enchilada. It is. Yeah. And you know, it's like my 11-year-old said recently, she looked in the mirror and she said, Mom, when I don't feel good, I don't look good. So true. But when I feel good, I look so much better. And I thought, you know, out of the mouths of babes. There you go. It's true. That's pretty much all there is. Yeah, because when I was going through a really difficult, difficult life, you know, for a couple of years, I I did not look good mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. And I now look at like, you. Yeah, there's a lot of makeup involved here. But <laughs> No, this is the real deal. I've been hanging out with Michelle over coffee oh. in the morning without any makeup. So thank you for coming on Glitz TV. Thank you for having So much me. fun. Oh. So blessed to have Thank new friendship you. with you too. Thanks Thank for sharing you. With and your you viewers. can check out Michelle at michellephillips.com, and that's with two L's and one P. That's right. Okay. I like that. And one P. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs>